Hey, what's up guys? Psyche here. So today I will be doing a inoculation. I think one of the videos on uh, my channel that did well is the liquid culture uh, recipes and the liquid culture um, agar test and whatnot. But I don't think I followed through with that, so my apologies. Um, but today I'm going to be doing some transfers of agar and I will also be doing a, uh, I guess, liquid culture test as well. So this liquid culture was made uh, the same way from the recipe video. This one is the light malt extract version. Uh, that was the clear winner. So I guess uh, a year later, here's here's my uh, results. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing that. And then I've got also a bunch of agar plates. And then I'm gonna be so you can see the the amount of grains is very very small. Um, all all of these are going to be uh, starter cultures. So I'm just not putting that much grain just to allow uh, for the agar, uh, agar to uh, and the mycelium to just colonize kind of quicker. And then from there, um, all these grains are going to be little inoculation points. So it's going to be fantastic. We'll be able to do grain to grain and also. If uh, everything is clean on those, I will also take a piece of the agar and probably make liquid cultures out of them. So, yeah, I guess, uh, oh yeah, I meant to show, so I've got a couple of different, different plates, so. And uh, most of the ones I will be transferring to uh, the grains are actually second transfers. So I <clears throat> either took a tissue sample or spores and then let the mycelium grow and then um, took a little piece, the one I thought looked the healthiest and then transferred it to another clean plate and then let that mycelium grow. And then that's what we're going to be using to inoculate. All right, so I'm going to turn my flow hood on. The noise is terrible. I'm not going to talk in this process, so let's switch to a time lapse. All right. So uh, first step, I just kind of remove all the foils off of uh, my lids, and um, something that's kind of useful too is just to shake the grains right there, just like that, before putting in your agar. Yeah, I'm just going to go in, uh, make a few cuts uh, where I think the mycelium looks very healthy. And I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. I usually make about uh, three, yeah, about two to three um, little pieces per jar. And uh, usually I like to, like I said, to keep enough for myself um, to then make a liquid culture uh, in the future. So I'm just going to repeat that stuff for all the jars. And uh, I will update you guys once it starts eating. All right, so I uh, said I would do this liquid culture, but then I kind of miscounted um, my jars and whatnot. So we are going to save this for next time. Um, I have some greens cooking right now, so should be a video pretty quick about it. Um, but yeah, everything has been inoculated with uh, agar, and now I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Put it in my tent to uh, make sure they're all clear of uh, any kind of dust or anything. And then, yeah, we're just gonna keep updating you on the progress. Cheers, Psyche, out.